Hi friends. So I am trying to edit this and this is day three of me editing this video and it's so long that it keeps freezing up the program that I use. So I think I'm just going to silence the video and time lapse the whole thing and just call it kind of a loss <laughs> with this video. Um, in the video, I do talk a bunch and I do kind of explain how I take customs and the process of it all and all of that. But maybe I can throw that in in a different video with less talking or a shorter video or make a designated video for that. But it is, this video is just not it. It's too long. I can't sit here for two hours and edit it. So... <laughs> If you watch this, thank you. And if you skip this one, that's fine too. But I just need to be done with it. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so it's a few days after that voiceover and I'm feeling calmer <laughs> now about this video. I just really wanted to do a real time video uh, showing the beginning and end of a custom and all the stuff in between. Just, I don't know, I thought that could be interesting and I had like three-ish hours of footage and when I uploaded it to, I used iMovie for Windows, it wouldn't, it was, it wouldn't load fully and it had to keep buffering and stuff so it was taking a really long time to so anyway, I'm just going to do a voiceover of what I said here. I think it's not going to line up exactly, but usually when someone wants a custom for me, they go through Instagram and send a DM. I did have someone ask on TikTok before, but I don't, um, <laughs> I haven't gotten TikTok figured out yet. So yeah, Instagram is probably the best way to go. Or if you go to my Etsy shop and send me a message through there, just because I get a notification on my phone for both of those. So that's usually what happens, the Instagram DM. And that's what this customer did. And she asked if I could do a nutcracker, which I've never done before. And I asked if she just wanted the nutcracker head or the full body. And she said full body, which I was a little nervous about because I only have an inch of space. And customs like that always make me a little nervous, but I always say yes because I, I will always try. And usually they end up turning out cute so uh, yeah I really like how this one turned out so then um after someone tells me what they want I go through the colors that they want like the embroidery floss and then the background color she I just I usually do the oatmeal for like the draft I did air quotes in real life but uh, just because it is neutral and it goes with everything and it'll go with every outfit and that's my most popular color. So I usually just make the draft or the first draft on the oatmeal. And typically they like it and they'll just get it. Like they'll buy the draft, which then becomes the final. And then I have, I show it at some point. I don't know when in this video, but I show a picture of all the backings that I have. And I send that to them as well so they can pick. So I like to have everything that they choose, what they can choose from handy so they can, you know, really customize what they want. I used to have a picture of all the linen that I have, but now I don't do that anymore <laughs> because I have so much linen and it's hard to keep up with the pictures and all that stuff. And like I said before, the oatmeal is my most popular color. So usually that's what they go with. Unless they specifically say they, that they want it on a different color then. And they have the option to change anything after I show them the picture of the first draft. Uh, sometimes that happens, but oftentimes they like how the first draft turned out and this customer did as well. So that's what typically happens with that. And also if they do want to change the background or the colors for whatever reason, I still don't count it as a loss because I can still turn that into a necklace and sell it. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal if they want to change a color or anything. And also throughout this video, you'll see me looking between a couple photos usually um not usually sometimes they'll a customer will send me a photo of what they're wanting and 
most of the time it's not an embroidery photo it's just a design type photo or they'll send me a color palette um this customer just said a nutcracker a, a classic or traditional nutcracker so i wanted to make sure i had the colors and i went between those two photos just to base off my design because i don't own any nutcrackers so yeah i kind of took little pieces of both of them and merge them together to what I could fit into this space and yeah that's usually I usually have some sort of reference photo whether I look it up myself or the customer provides one when I do a custom unless it's something like like one of my designs I've already done and they just want a specific color palette then obviously I don't need a, like a picture but yeah, with customs, they usually have some sort of picture to go off of. And a majority of this part of the video is me just talking out loud what I'm thinking because I thought that I would be putting that into this video instead of doing a voiceover. So it's a lot of just like, oh, should I do this or should I put use this color here? Or should I, you know, like things like that. So I, I can't put that in now, but, and I don't know exactly what I said, but just so you know, that's what a lot of this is when I'm not embroidering. So I don't really know what to talk about while I do this voiceover, just because I don't know what I'm saying in the video and just watching it, like you can just see like I'm embroidering, but and I don't want to go too far off topic of this video since this was or is a designated video to this. But anyway, I do want to share that we finally took down our Halloween decorations the other day, which was the 13th of November. And we put up our Christmas decorations, or at least a majority of them, which this is the earliest that we've ever put up Christmas decorations. I think usually we go either the day after Thanksgiving or we do it the day after my daughter's birthday, which is December 4th. Just so I don't want her to, you know, so we can have birthday decorations type thing. But I don't know this year. I feel like all the holidays are things are getting right. People are getting ready. Things people are getting ready earlier and earlier than normal, which is kind of exciting. I'm excited for that's great for the holiday season. So, yeah, Christmas is my favorite. Have you guys decorated for Christmas yet? Let me know in the comments. We don't really do outside decorations, but I think this year we might. So we'll see. Or at least the holiday season is my favorite. Not so much Christmas, but the holiday season. I think Easter is my, my favorite holiday. But anyway, but also I feel like decorating for fall, is, there's such a short window because there's fall. And then there's Halloween and we decorate for Halloween. And then there's a little bit of fall after and then Christmas. So just the, I don't know, we don't really decorate for fall. There's not a lot of cute things to decorate with fall. I don't, I could be wrong, but the idea of decorating and then decorating for Halloween and then putting that away and decorating for fall again, I don't know. People probably don't do that. Or maybe they like, just put a few of their Halloween decorations away and their fall stuff just stays up the whole time. It's a lot of decorating. And also this year, I'm sorry that none of this is about this video. I don't, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I, this year we decided that instead of like buying a bunch of presents, we're going to make like whoever we're like, we have a list of what, who we're, who we need presents for and we're going to make them something instead. And then like one thing for each person, I think that'd be, I'm excited for it because we have all this stuff to make things out of. Like we have sewing machines and crickets in the Glowforge now. So I think it'll be really cool to see what we come up with. And if, I'll show you guys as well, I guess, what, unless it completely doesn't turn out well at all, but I think it'll be fine. And that way, because I've always been a little 
presents make me feel weird and I don't know why they just they just do so like I don't I'm not comfortable when someone asks me what I want for Christmas and then I have to like tell them it just I don't know the whole the thought of all that just it's overwhelming and I don't, I don't know but I, I think making presents are super is super fun so I'm excited to do that for everyone except for our kids we have a little surprise and I'll share that later not right now though but yeah I'm excited for that oh that is a lie we actually I am actually making my son something it doesn't none of that matters though I digress about that but that was just me trying to figure out what set, what color pants to put because when I kept looking up nutcrackers all of them seemed to have different kinds of pants so I'm not sure I think I went with blue I could be wrong but I think that's what I did yeah because one of my videos coming up is um, a pants tutorial like the bag waist pants tutorial and I am the pants that I make in that video I am giving to my son for Christmas I just remember that I need to finish that video but my serger broke which I mentioned in a video but you can make it without a serger and I think that's just what I'm gonna do so it'll be fine but anyway I think this is one of my favorite customs it was really cool seeing it like seeing it come together because I didn't think that it would fit and just the details of it all but they turned out so cute I almost put these in my shop for the holidays and it's really close to the holidays otherwise I would have but maybe I'll do that next year or something because they they're super cute I really like them and I figure I would figure it I should mention that if someone asks for a custom I don't typically take that and sell it in my shop like that design usually it's just you know like depending on what it is for the nutcracker if I did do that for next year I would change up the colors and things like that I just want to throw that out there like if you order a custom it is a custom and it is going to be a one of a kind necklace but but if I do take that design because I do come up with the designs um I would change it though so it doesn't look exactly like yours like I like the green like the red and green idea which in the video I had that pretty green like I'd probably do something like that or like a blue one or something I don't know but I just wanted to share that too I guess unless it was something super basic but I can't think of one like a custom usually they aren't super basic so like that so yeah but if someone wanted like I don't know like a, a butterfly then I would I probably well I already have butterflies but if they wanted like a I don't know I don't know I think you know what I'm saying <laughs> the back of this necklace looks so crazy I do trim all that so it doesn't so it looks neater and none of the strings like you can't see them from the front side so yeah I just stopped the video and I can just all I see is the back <laughs> I do remember this part though I was trying to find a color for the nutcrackers hair because a lot of the nutcrackers that I saw it's either white or gray and I couldn't do white because I was afraid that it would blend in with the face because that, that's one of the only whites that I have and it's not it's not really like a white like I said it's like a I don't know kind of like an oatmeal color but yeah but then I found this gray and I knew that I wanted him to have curly hair because I saw a picture of one and it looked super cute and the other ones that I saw they had like kind of crazy straight hair and I didn't think that it would look it would portray well like translate well on with embroidery so I wanted to do the curly hair and I've actually showed a video of me doing this before but this is how I store my embroidery embroidery floss I just use uh, I think it's label paper actually and I just measure it out to fit the holder the floss holder and then I write what number it is and then I'll wrap it around I don't do it in this video because I'm making a necklace and that it takes a little bit of time but that's what I do and label paper I think it's in my Amazon storefront and I think I even have these holders in my 
storefront too. I could be wrong, but you can get them from any craft store, I'm pretty sure, that sells embroidery floss. So, and I'm doing the hair with French knots. I just figured I should mention that. Most of this, pretty much all of this, all the stitches were a satin stitch and maybe just a straight stitch and um, French knots. And I think that's all the stitches I used for this. It was pretty simple stitching. Like, I think the placement and the scale was the hardest part, but since I did that circle, that's how big my glass domes are, so I don't go around that or go over the lines. And I think I mentioned it in the beginning, but I do make those lines in pencil just in case my design doesn't end up being completely centered. I can It gives me wiggle room to move it around, and then I can just use an eraser and erase those lines, and I haven't had a problem with that when I use pencil, which... I typically do now. I think when I first started, I used pen and that sucked, but I quickly learned to use pencil. So it was a learning thing. And I just remembered this whole video isn't a voiceover. When I'm packing the video, I do believe it's like I'm speaking in real time and I do pack this in real time as well. So I was able to keep that part at least. So yeah. So you'll be able to see real-time packing. Ugh, I'm being redundant. <laughs> Sorry. So this is the finished, I think this is the finished embroidery outcome. Let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out, I'm surprised how much I like this design. I think it turned out super cute. I'm tired of saying super cute, but I do think it did do that. <laughs> and I also don't know why this black frame appears, but it only lasts for like 10 seconds. So that was really weird. I couldn't figure out, figure out how to take it off. So, and I also don't know what I'm saying because I'm pointing to it a lot, but yeah. <laughs> but I do show the backing that she chose and it was, it's the snowflake one and that's one of the new ones. I tried to find the shop that I ordered these from, but I can't find it. And I don't know what account, because I have three Etsy accounts. Yeah, I know. And I don't know which one I ordered it from. And I've checked, I thought I checked all of them and I can't find it. So I don't, and I don't often check out as a guest for this reason, but I guess I might have. And I tried to search Etsy for it too, but I, I couldn't find them because I wanted them for this next little drop that I'm doing, but to no avail. I, I think I'm just out of luck on those. So I am trimming the excess threads from tying them and I do um, add a little backing of hot glue and then I'll press it down so it all the just in case I cut a knot it would still hold its place. I usually don't cut the knots but I just like it all to be you know secure just in case. Yeah. And I also, I think this next drop that I'm going to do, I am going to add a few little snowflakes, but I think I might add some spring designs because then that way I'm ahead of the game instead of behind. And I think if people were going to buy holiday things, they would be doing it or have done it by the time I have this drop because I'm having it, I think mid to late November is when I'm going to be able to get that done because I still have my wholesale order I need to do or finish up so yeah and spring designs are cute I like spring designs spring slash summer pretty much non holiday well yeah I do like holiday stuff but I'm just thinking in my head and then speaking half of my thoughts so anyway so I'll have snowflakes and then a couple um spring designs i'll have more information about that like later in a video or if you follow me on instagram you'll hear about it first probably and that's always linked down below but i do want to share like how i wrap it because i think that's helpful so i try my best to get the design where i want it in this case i want it to be in the middle and i so you saw i hold it and make sure it's in there and then i will glue the top and the bottom once first 
and I try and do a little bit of glue just in case I need to rip it. Not like, yeah, undo it, I should say, to move it just in case something moves. And then I will do the sides and then doing the other, the corner pieces. Um, I'd like to do, I change it, I guess it depends on the design, but if it's slightly off, I like to do the corner that would move it to where I want it to be. And then I will pull it or I guess squeeze it and then cut to make it shorter. And then <laughs> it's hard to do it and not show you like how I'm doing it. And then I'll pull it a little bit of it and then glue it. And then when you get the last little bit of fabric for that corner, if you pull tight enough, but not too tight, and then pull it underneath, you shouldn't have any bumps on the sides. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that's helpful if you make these and struggle with that, or if you're going to, um, I can do an in more in-depth video, but I, sh I don't know. It's hard to explain when I'm not like doing it like as I speak. <laughs> and now my nails are done for this clip, which was great. <laughs> anyway, um, so here I am using a small, small pair of scissors and kind of prying those folds up to cut those because if you just left it like this and put it in, I think, well, I'm not going to comment on anybody's stuff. Never mind. But this does make a big difference because if I were to just put it in there like it is right now, that's how you get that raised look and it doesn't look like it's secure or as secure. So if you do it this way and just cut that extra off because it's not really do it's not doing anything like it's not helping. So, and then like I only do a couple at a time and then I'll glue it just to make sure like it's secure, the like fabric secure and stuff. It'll lay flatter and it looks neater and nicer, I think. So that's why I do this. And I use B7000 this never E6000 or whatever that one is, because that one will not work. Like your things will fall apart. So this is the one that I use and it holds so well. I've never had any issues. I've done it and like try to take the thing off and it's like, it's, it's on there. So that's what I like to use for this. And then I put a weight, this is a five pound weight and I put it on top of it so I can get it as flat and secure as possible. Already made. Like I have, um, like embroidered. Let me see. Let me it as an example. Like how I store it, I have a bunch of like these. They're just not wrapped yet. And then it takes um, like a day to set overnight. So about like two days ish. But some necklaces, like I can go ahead and like ship it the day of, depending, or the next day is usually what I go for. So I haven't used this in a while. Usually I do my, the, sorry, it's still, it's really early, not really early, but it's early. Usually I use this. It's the artist sire, artist sire, I don't know low temp <sighs> wax gun wax seal gun or something but I have um, these little beads that I kind of want to get used up and then I have a bunch of this has nothing to do with the video but I'm going to share it anyway I have a bunch of color sticks. I just organized my drawer so it's so easy to show those things. Ugh. I have like a few colors that I don't really like. Um, so what I did is I cut them up, some of them up, so I can put it like confetti looking into that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I need to find a lighter, which I thought I had, but I don't. Okay, I will be right back. 
Okay. So I found a little lighter. And I kind of want to get like a basket type thing for all my wax seal stamps. Like I have a... How many do I have? I have like nine of these, but some of them don't have the sticks. And I kind of want to get like a little container to put it in so I can just randomly draw one because I think that would be fun. <laughs> okay, so that's going. Okay. This takes a lot more stuff. Two of those. It's smoking. I need sorry, I'm looking for something. There it is. Weird, like my shadow is like orange. Okay. Do, 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 do. And I do have those pliers that on how you're, like what you use to actually open this, but usually for necklaces, I still just use scissors because it's faster. Usually, so I do, I'm trying my hardest to do Instagram posts and reels like the same day. So two posts a day, except I missed yesterday because I don't know what happened. So usually when I'm packing, I also make my, take little clips for my reels too. Um, you can't see what I'm doing, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you know, it's not like. It's not super creative, but it's what I can manage for now. And usually I pause the camera for that, but if I'm doing this kind of video. I'm actually getting low on these boxes. Just... I need to find a new one because there's a lot of these where it just didn't it's hard to put them together. And I'm almost out of these bags. I only have one left, but I have like other sizes that are slightly bigger. So I'm just going to go through those two because I don't want to waste them and I don't want to buy more. Maybe I should take a picture, like a thumbnail or something. Thumbnails are probably my least favorite. Ugh. I'm just going to take a couple of pictures. And I usually don't talk during this part. I usually try and have like silence so it's ASMR, but not today. Fold, fold. I'm gonna try and make it so it's flat. There's a little bit of flatness so the stamp goes. 
And then I'm going to do this random stamp. Plants. Okay. Oh, open this. I guess this order is just gonna get all kinds of stuff in it. Or this seal. Are you good? No. Let's wait a minute. We'll just do a little one. There. And then now I just wait. It takes a little bit for the hot glue gun, well not the glue gun, but the wax gun to heat up too, so. <laughs> okay, this is just, it looks like one isn't melted, but I think it, it's gonna be fine. Maybe I should have done three. We'll do. Oh no, they're all stuck together. Oh, we're gonna do that many. And some. Gosh, I do not know if this is gonna look good. <laughs> okay, we'll see what happens. Usually this takes like a few minutes to cool down, or I guess to set, I don't know. I also got these transparent ones, which I think will be cool with like to put like flowers and stuff in it. Okay. To keep you over here. Let me just wait. Get to my twine. This is so convenient having my desk set up like this. Maybe I'll do a video on it. It'd be like a quick, maybe like an extra like bonus video or something. Cause I don't think it'd be too exciting, but maybe it will be. I don't know. And then same stickers kind of wanna I actually forgot that I had these I bought these from another shop I linked it below the day I got it but I can't remember I can't remember but they're so cute gosh I think it's Amy like A M I I creations or illustrations on Instagram I've even bought like some prints. I haven't hung them up yet because I want it to, uh, I need to, I was gonna put them in my kid's playroom, but I need to organize that room. I'm finished painting it. So I think I'm gonna do these stickers. So cute. Oh my goodness. Kind of hard to see what it is. Gosh, it looks alright. It's okay. 
Some of those uh, cut up pieces are from the same place that I got the wax gun. And I thought I was buying like individual glue sticks, but what I was buying was uh, like a stamp, like, like one of these, but with all the stuff on it, with just their logo. And when they came, I'm like, oh gosh, cause they were like, I think it was like $2. So it's like, why am I buying $2? for a stamp that's with their logo so i mean if you need a sample of colors i guess it's a good idea but i did not so i cut them up and hope to see if i could reuse them so i didn't have to just throw them away but i mean it looks i think it looks cute the gold helps <gasps> and then oh man like twist it in the back. So it goes like this. Then under. Under. It's cuter when I have like the taller dry flower sticking out and I need to get more because most of my stuff is they're like the little petals but I haven't really found ones that I like yet. Gosh, this is a okay. I used to buy, or I did buy from another shop these, but then I just, gosh, it's so much cheaper. I'll probably go, oh no, I'll probably go back to using a small, like a small shop, but I need to find, I don't know, kind of like the floral ones, washi tapes. <laughs> did not print a label yet. And I have a second desk next to the one that you're on that has my printer and laptop and stuff on it. Maybe I will do a, vi a video. It's just crazy how much shipping is now. This was $388. And I, I charge for shipping now, but I used to not. But I remember when I first started my shop, it was like 277 or something like that. And then when I set up my shipping thing on Etsy, I charge $3 or $350. I think $350. They're like, you're charging too high. And it's like, no, I'm not. Because it's $388. Like, and it is usually over 350 sometimes it's like 342 or something but and i will edit that part out with the address of the customer because that's would be weird if i didn't 
And then that's it. And then usually the last clip is that. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. That is how I do my customs and pack my orders in real time. I think as much, I'm try gonna try not edit it at all. Maybe just like a few clips, but that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. This video is not gonna go up for a while, but maybe my next video after this one will be my desk stuff if it's still organized. But anyway, okay. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you guys next time, bye.